Hi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install an iPod dock. Right, I'll just give you a quick run through what we have on screen. The new TXNR709 AV receiver, along with the DSA4 and the UPA1. The DSA4 is the larger dock on the left hand side and the UPA1 is on the right hand side. We're going to start with the UPA1 because this is the simplest one to connect. As you can see we're on the back of the 709 and you can see the UPA1 in the top left hand corner. Right, here we go. You take the connector plug on the end of the UPA1 cable and it's a simple case of plugging it into the U port on the back of the AVR. It does require a firm press to get it in there, but that's it. It's now fully connected and ready to use. The DSO4 is a little bit more advanced because it is designed to actually work with any amplifier. What I will cover with the DSO4 is a complete hookup covering all of the connections that you can actually see here. If you're hooking up to an Onkyo AV receiver or stereo amplifier, then you need to make sure that the RI mode switch is correctly set which will be in the dock mode. Then the next thing we need to do is connect up the RI lead which is a mono 3.5mm jack. Once you've connected to the dock you need to wire in to the RI remote sockets on the back of the amplifier. Whether it's an AVR or stereo there will be an RI connection on the back. The next lead we need to sort out is the component lead. Again, it's on a 3.5mm jack on the back of the DSA4. Make sure it's pushed firmly all the way in. Then, with the other end, to the component input on the back of the AVR. This will allow the on-screen display and the titling to come up on screen. Now we're going to connect the composite video and the stereo left and right. If you're going to use a DSA4 on an Onkyo AVR, I suggest you plug it into the game input. I shall show you why we do that just a little bit later on. Now when that's fully connected, both analog left and right and composite video. And now all that's left is connecting the power and we're ready to go. You wouldn't normally connect both the composite and the component all at the same time but I've just done this to show you on this video what you can actually connect to what. And there we go, that's the DSA4 all wired up. The first thing we need to do on the setup is to change the label because we're using the DSA4 and not the U port. So all you need to do is press and hold the game button until the label changes to dock. Now what this also does is engages the RI lead correctly so using the AVR remote will actually control the DSA4 dock and your iPod. As you can see here it's an iPhone 4 and is charging. They're all hooked up and ready to go. Thanks for watching.